The Taliban returns to atrocities, public executions, and torture. In a shocking display of brutality, the Taliban in Afghanistan has resorted to using a full-length hijab traditionally worn by a woman to publicly humiliate two men accused of petty theft. The men were forced to stand on a platform dressed in the chador for all to see as a form of punishment. This appalling act is seen as an attempt to degrade the men and portray them as women, therefore weak and spineless. This incident is just one example of the Taliban's growing suppression of human rights since seizing power over a year ago. The, re the regime has resorted to brutal executions and public punishments to instill fear in the population. They have implemented measures to limit women's role in public life, such as banning them from gyms, schools, and even seeing male doctors. Afghan Witness documented at least 36 cases of public punishments carried out upon orders by the Taliban courts between October of 2022 and March of 2023, with an estimated number of more than 300 victims. Damn. So Damn. what... Hmm. I read a really interesting report and they talked basically about how when the Taliban first took power, they were trying to keep a, a, a rosy face, right? They were trying to keep a good image because they like wanted to basically receive international recognition. And then when it became clear that they were not going to receive international recognition, that's when they just decided to go just like full Taliban. And it's interesting. The article also talked about how there are the people who have been involved like all, all the all the Taliban they're all extremists right they're all extremists but the ones who have been involved in international negotiations in Doha they're still extremists they just don't want to do this kind of thing um as publicly they're still extremists they just don't want this to be so public that's kind of you know how you talk about like the the differences in between the Taliban like that's a pretty primary difference and so this just talks about how when they seem to have come to the conclusion that they were not going to receive international recognition, they they just went full blown. So what do you what do you think about that? I recently saw a video that I was going to send you, but then I thought it would upset you so much that I didn't send it to you. OK, oh, no. But can I describe what I saw? Yeah. What was it? There was a Taliban guy inside the house, and they had the prisoner. They had the guy's hand tied behind his head. And the Taliban guy had plastic bags, and he starts putting the tying the plastic bag around his head. And the guy, seeing it, starts like getting nervous and crying about it. And then he just puts one plastic bag and just sits there and watch the guy die, right? like suffocating him with plastic bags around his head. He's so, and he does it so calmly and casually as if he's been doing this so many times. He just takes one plastic bag. It was, yeah, puts it on his head and ties it. And the guy is crying like a little boy. And it was just, I could, I, it was so disgusting. I was like, how, how do we have humans like this? And yeah, I just watched the man suffocate to death. And I was like, these people are monsters. Yeah. Yeah, you made the right and, decision to not send that to me. Yeah. It's just so casually. It was like as if he was like tying. It was like as if he was gift wrapping something. He was oh just sitting God. there and just the guy was tied. And he just put it to him and just like, and then got the next plastic bag to just make yeah. sure it's completely sealed. And the guy just died right in front of him. And he was like, the, his his breathing, it, it, that that image and that sound, the sound that the guy was making and the guy knowing that he's about to die in the most horrible way, it, that just like stuck with me. I couldn't like, I, you know, I don't know. It was stuck in my head for a long time. Yeah, that will leave an impression. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. That's also definitely not an Islamic way to do an execution. I don't know, but like, I mean, like, if this is how casually, like, somebody is recording, somebody was recording this as if, like, they're recording, like, making an Instagram post or something, right? So he was doing it, and like, um, I'm like, how, if, if this is recorded, how often things are this are just happening, just 
there mm-hmm. in Afghanistan to people mm-hmm. and the ones that we don't get, like the ones that we don't hear about. Mm-hmm. Yeah. By the way, I do this. This post has like I wanted to see a social media post on this, and it seems like it has some problems here. I think it can must be somebody... you because I can see it fine. Really? Okay. Yeah. We have some problems here as well. Mm, I can see it fine. Okay. Okay. Let me refresh it. Maybe. But what do you think we like in terms of the whole conversation of international recognition? Like, what are we going to? do as an international oh, yeah. community we can't can we just leave them unrecognized forever i don't understand no we have to move forward with the recognition unfortunately we need to get money there and we need pressure we need we need china in this I, as much as it's you know um china is moving into afghanistan and we cannot we have to be pragmatic China wants for its own financial interests. It needs stability right now in Afghanistan. And China is in a better position to push the Taliban to, again, I know this sounds like weird to say because China has its own human rights um, conditions. So you might think like, what the hell are we talking about? But China just recently came out and told Taliban that they need to get their human rights act together, Mm -hmm. which again, you might guys think that's ridiculous and hypocritical, but given how motivated they are for some stability in Afghanistan, partnering up with China to make sure this happens, I think it's an important thing. You know, we, we, we have to put, when it comes to making sure that the Afghani people live better lives, we have to think about consequences rather than principles. So at this point, we don't have the privilege of thinking like, oh, the Taliban, we shouldn't recognize them because they're a terrorist group and stuff. The situation in Afghanistan is so dire, um, the the money needs to get be getting in. Like we're talking, so many desperate people, so many people dying from hunger, so many people, uh, you know, not having access to basic needs and healthcare. And if if recognizing the Taliban um, is what's required to change that, unfortunately, we have to make a deal with the devil. Okay. We can't be idealistic. We have to do what is needed. Mm-hmm. The consequences yeah. are just so extreme. So extreme right now. It's it's going to yeah. It could get so much worse if we if we keep going this way. Yeah. yeah. And which I don't understand. One thing that I criticize the Biden administration for is that they gave some of the money that they froze from the, from Afghanistan. They gave it to the family of 9-11 people while people that in Afghanistan. pissed me off so much. That made me so mad. I can't go back yeah, into that, was, that again, though. I can't go back into that. Yeah. That was egregious yeah, yeah. to me. That was egregious to me. And yeah. I mean, I mean, I'm not someone who's like just you know poo-pooing victims of 9-11, right? <laughs> like it's not like I don't handle that with gravitas, but yeah, that decision. Yeah was immoral in my opinion get my best-selling book why there is no god for free click on the link for it in the description